Since the SNES Classic was announced recently, I figured it would be a good time to finish building the mini SNES I had started about a month and a half ago. This was a design I found on Thingiverse. There are a handful of mini SNES designs out there, but the reason I chose this over the other ones was simple. It had functioning power and reset buttons. I did one small modification to the case. The original design called for two USB ports up front. Since I plan to use the 8-bit DOE SNES-30 wireless controller, I chose to fill in those spots with simulated controller connectors. The heart of this machine is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. It uses a mini HDMI to full-size HDMI adapter, a 5.5mm barrel jack for power. Up front is a piece of project board with a small on and off switch to control power and a small momentary switch for reset. Also, I've installed a 3mm red power LED. On the software side, I'm running RetroPie with an SNES Classic style theme. Unfortunately, this is where the fun ends. While some games like Super Mario World play perfectly fine, others such as Star Fox are quite choppy and unplayable. I admit I didn't do my homework. If I had, I would have known the Pi Zero just didn't have the power to play some SNES games. In the end, it was still a fun project, and I'm glad I finished it up. I might try to make one using the more powerful Raspberry Pi 3, or just hope to get my hands on the real SNES Classic once it's released. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. As always, thanks for watching.